Hi everyone, welcome to Workplace TV. You would think, wouldn't you, that employees would leave their indiscretions at home literally? Well, think again. So here's the scenario. And first, let me start by saying that this story was told to me by a very competent human resources professional who believed that she knew what was going on within her own organization. She thought that she knew her people. Or at a minimum, she believed that if there was a problem going on, she would know about it. Getting back to the story, if I remember correctly, Mary, not her real name, calls me one day and says, boy, have I got a story for you. Apparently, one of her maintenance supervisors was pulled over one day for speeding, and it was determined that he was under the influence of drugs, more specifically, marijuana. The company was notified of the situation, and as the employee was on the clock and in a company vehicle, his employment was terminated. At this point in the story, Mary shared that Bob, again, not his real name, was a good employee. He had worked for the company for years in a supervisory capacity and gave them no problems or any cause for concern. In fact, no one had really checked up on him in his off-site location in a long time. Then it came time to clean out his office. Mary shared that clearing through the front office went pretty smoothly, but then they tried to gain access to a connecting storage room to clear that out. After breaking the lock to gain entry, they were amazed at what they saw when they opened the door. The first thing that they saw were the walls covered with pornography. Sadly, that wasn't all. At the end of the room, they noticed a glowing light from behind a curtain. When they pulled back the curtain, they realized that Bob was growing a large amount of marijuana. What the heck was he thinking? I don't think he was thinking, or was he? Maybe he knew that no one had come to check on him at his office in years, so why would they start now? He probably never expected to get caught. Suffice it to say, Mary was very humbled. She admitted that it would be nice to be in the know about everything going on in the organization, but there's really no way possible to know about everything. That's true. There are things that we can do, though, to minimize the likelihood that we will be faced with this type of situation ourselves. Most importantly, get out there to see your employees. Some of you may be familiar with the management style, management by walking about. This would have definitely gone a long way in this situation towards prevention, don't you think? I'm Lisa Yankowitz, and that's what you need to know today.